Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen today. Today is our Bisquick collaboration. I have several people that are joining in, so please go to their channels and give them some support and love. What's Up Family Homes, Holly's Homemade Haven, Cooking the Books, Melinda's Messy Sink, Jim's Kitchen Kitchen, Pike Creek Farms, Our Home, Our Life, and Miss Sonia Lane. So check them out, tell them I sent you. And we're gonna get started in my kitchen with what I'm going to make for the book collaboration. It's a cherry coffee cake, it is so good. So join me in the kitchen and don't forget to stay till the end for another vintage baking tip. My Bisquick collaboration contribution is a cherry coffee cake. So I bought these at a Dollar Tree. Um, it's only about one and a half cups. Uh, per pack and I needed to so I had some left over um, but you can use the box kind too it doesn't matter so I'm going to start out with two-thirds cup of water and two cups of um, bisquick mix two tablespoons of regular white sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon One egg, and stir that together. I almost forgot my brown sugar. Quarter cup of half brown sugar. I'm just going to stir this until it's mixed real well. And I have a nine by nine baking pan and I've sprayed it. So I have four tablespoons of butter, I have a half a cup of um, oats and a half a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of this quick mix. I'm just going to put this butter in here and just give it a little stir and get that all mixed up a little bit and we're going to pour this over the top of that. So I want to thank Jim at Jim's Kitch Kitchen. We did a collaboration together for grits, and that was a lot of fun. That was the first collaboration I did. So now I'm hooked. Then I did one with Anna at Cooking the Books. <laughs> I almost said that wrong. And we did one over a 1957 Betty Crocker cookbook. And I did hot fudge um, pudding, and she did um, a breakfast ring. And it's such a cute little cookbook, but they were the first ones I've done a collaboration to. But I thank everyone that has done this collaboration with me. For being such a new YouTuber, I got a lot of response for this. I'm so thankful. So that is getting mixed up pretty well. It doesn't have to be all creamy and everything. It can be crumbly. It's streusel. So I am going to sprinkle this over the top a little bit, not much, just some. Let's stir that just a little bit more. If you need to use your hands, you can use your hands, like me. Spoon just sometimes doesn't do it. I'm not going to put like a whole lot on the bottom here. Save the rest of it for the top. So I have one can of cherry pie filling. And we're just going to spread that over the top. I 
to make this a different kind of fruit with apple, um, I don't know, anything you want, raspberry, would be good, but raspberry. We're gonna make a glaze at the end after it's all baked. Some powdered sugar, a little bit of milk and vanilla. Okay. This is not a perfect dessert doesn't have to look perfect. Oh, I'm going to spread the rest of this over with my hands. <laughs> it's just easier that way. Bake this in an oven at 400 for about 20 to 25 minutes. We will be back. The coffee cake's out of the oven. I wound up having to bake mine for 30 minutes. Um, if you use this a little bit bigger uh, pan, a Pyrex dish or something, it won't take as long to bake. But I've mixed up one cup of powdered sugar and uh, one tablespoon of water and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top here. Smells good, it looks good. I love cherry. Mm. It's so good. I think that that um, streusel adds some buttery taste to it. It's so good. You really need to try this. Thank you all for joining in to the uh, collaboration for the Bisquick. I will list every single one of them down in the description box and please go and see their channel too and give them some love and support. And we will see you next time. Bye. The baking tip for today is whenever it calls for melted butter, measure the butter after you melt it, not before.